guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of Delicious Party Pretty Care, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is the episode where she's going to make her first friend with Yui, right? Yeah, like, yeah? Especially Yui's like the only freaking pretty hair that I know as of right now who likes carrots. I don't know how people can eat carrots. Seriously, she just fool is best girl. Best girl. Of course she's gonna live with Coco Nick, cause come on! Oh, that's Cody. Mm -hmm. Literally last night or like early Saturday morning, just brushed. Oh my God, Coconut. <laughs> I decided to like brush Cody just to brush him because he like needed to get brushed and. Any, I don't know if every dog is like this, but, you know, like, when you pet your dog, or you pet an animal, and the more and more you pet them, they calm down, and it relaxes them. That's the same thing with brushing my dog. My dog is a brush-aholic. Like, I will literally be like, I'll pet him a couple times, or I'll brush him a couple times. He will give me this look, like a death look, being like, what are you doing? Why did you stop? What is wrong with you? I'm like... Damn dog, like dude, let's get out of here. just brush you. And I'll be like, I'm tired now. I'll be like, no. You must continue brushing me. <laughs> I mean, because of course Coconut is going to want to make friends with people. Oh, she pretty. complicated yeah <laughs> she's so fucking cute
You eat time. Yui? <laughs> Pretty holic. Okay, gentle, you gotta be that girl who just showed up who's supposed to be the student council president. Come on now, the bob, or, uh, the, the, yeah, 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 the bangs. Come on now. Come on now. Now see when Mary says it, oh, <laughs> we are not treating this as Harry from Hagato. <laughs> Even when the tropical root girls are here, they're here in spirit with music. Oh, I can't. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and that just reminds me that on Wednesday or probably Tuesday night, I'm going to watch the Pretty Cure movie. See, now I feel like Coconut and Sango would just be like this. Straight up. <laughs> no, 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 no. You need food, food. That was only one!
Well, see, there's no problem with that. At least you get a little hands-on experience. Just lit up. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so that's why she's always eating the cake. Her intro. That's so cute. For five episodes straight. Well, technically, really more of four. We've been seeing this girl eating nonstop. <laughs> Not good anymore. Coconut? Oh! <laughs> you can still use it. Of course you will. <laughs> She likes you. Oh. That's literally like the cutest little alarm ever. If I had that on my Fitbit, I'd always wake up. <laughs> Honestly, wish I got a sandwich today. See, <laughs> I can get a, <laughs> get a sandwich tomorrow while I work. And that's the one thing you gotta love about anime. When like certain foods pop up, you're like, dang, I kind of want that for dinner or lunch. Because <sighs> it's like there was one time when I was watching something, 
and it had pizza in it, and I wanted pizza. And so my mom was like, what do you want for dinner? And I was like, pizza. <laughs> Yeah. Not everybody's the greatest at cooking. Exactly. Thank you, gentle. She's got it. I just need them to sell the recipe piece and uh, as little keychains. I want that so bad. <laughs>
There you go. Mm-hmm. I know, right? I want one of them cups so freaking mad. Even though it's plastic, I still want one. Oh, look at them cute. It sure is. It's okay, my baby! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. Like, oh, she's adorable. I love her so much. Like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. But she is. She's so effing precious. Like, Coco and I, oh my god. I'm just, I'm ready to see more of her story and her journey. So freaking bad. Like, I feel like when we get to the end of this, even though, as I've said last week and weeks before, because, you know, got spoiled about who the last gear is and stuff, um, she, she's my first one, my number one for now until my last one, my last girl comes in. But I feel like she's, when the last one comes in, I think it's going to go back and forth between them dominating slowly. So I feel like by the end of this series, when we get to next year, they'll both be my number one and I will still care for them so much. This was a really interesting episode for her because she is very similar once again to Cotton and loads of other characters in the Pretty Cure series who are very shy and to themselves and who's like, you know, I want a friend. And she's finally made friends and she's happy and she's able to, you know, do things with them. Yes, I understand. Like, it seemed like she was pushing on the makeup and everything to them saying like, oh, you should get this. Da, da, da. But she was only being, uh, I can't speak, helpful. That's the word. And it happens. I mean, you know, we've had friends that have done that. Heck, I've done that, you know, with some animes sometimes, some mangas, some video games and such. I'm like, no, you should play this. This is good. Yep, definitely play it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or hey, watch this. This is good. <laughs> but yeah. Is it finally time for Yum Yum? No? Oh my god! How long are we going with this? So is she not like is she not making her appearance until like episode seven? Bruh, the, the, we're on week five going on week six by next Saturday. The, I'm thinking this girl, it was time for Kier Yum Yum to make her appearance. They are really stretching this out. As I said like after episode one, um when it was strictly just Yui. I'm not mad at that. I really, truly am not. I do love the fact that, you know, we get to connect with these girls on a more level than, like, anything past, like, Tropical, maybe even to the beginning of the series for uh, Futariwa. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, we we about to go six weeks into this show! And Yum Yum is over here making her little side appearances, nothing yet, and no, it ain't time for her to make her official appearance, because I think by week seven is when um, she comes. Because I think they, they kind of did the same thing with Twinkle for Go Princess, where she she transformed into Twinkle. Then Kirarin um, basically said no. Kirada, that's her name. Um, she said no. Then the following episode, she was officially wanting to join and wanting to belong. It was It's kind of the same thing with, like, Homare from Hagato. And how the situation of Homare's story and her beginning, it took like two or three episodes for her officially being like, yes, 
I'm all into this. This is what I want to do and such. But dang, I, w- I was really expecting by like week six for Yum Yum to make her appearance. So I'm a little sad about that, but I'm, I'm still okay with it. I understand how it's going to be like that when, you know, the reboot of Tokyo Mew Mew comes in and how long it's going to take both Mew Pudding and Mew um, Zakuro to make their official appearances in the show and officially finally joining the group because like, Pudding and Zakuro were the longest two people that we had to wait for in the original series while Ichiko, Minto, and Lettuce was there from the beginning. But I felt like at the same time, probably with that series, once we get into that, because I think that airs in the summertime, I believe, um, they're probably going to make it a little bit different from the original series, possibly. But I don't know. But yeah, I I mean, for an episode that focused on Kohone, this was really, truly good. I think this is now, like, probably... Between her, between the last last week's episode, which officially got her into the show, and instead of being like a quote unquote side character and not being a main character and such, um, if I had to choose between these two, I'd probably choose this one as like the number one for me as of now until we get into more and more things, especially because it makes you wonder what does she want to do for the rest of her life. Um, I feel like with Yui, she probably wants to do something with cooking because she loves to eat and it's like that. So hopefully we get to see a little bit more. And the same thing whenever the heck Kiri Yum Yum decides to pop in, you know, because we need to know her story like ASA freaking P. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of Delicious Party Pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday or Sunday for episode six. Bye, guys.